Hello everyone, Dan here from Sherpy T. Thought I would share my little adventure up to Mountain, Wisconsin. Happened to be on Memorial Day weekend, and when I got up there, took my truck there with that trailer, and I pulled the Sherp through the parade. Had a good time overall, and I think everybody enjoyed seeing it. But the real reason that I came up to Mountain was to help clear some of the damage that was done by the tornado a couple of years ago. Uh, we are going down a hill here. It doesn't look like it, but believe me, we are going down a hill. There was about eight of us that were going and cleaning this trail up, worked our tail end off, got her all cleared out. And the reason we did that is because we wanted to get down to this little pond, in a sense, that is the bottom of these hills. Up there on the right, is where the tornadoes just took everything out. Here's me out in the middle of this pond. It's only about 18 inches deep. It freezes out. Um, you can notice that it's pretty deep and I'm completely floating just by the color of the water coming off those tires. When it gets dark, that means you're close to the bottom or you're hitting bottom. This water was very, very clear. Um, basically, it's all just water runoff. Nothing really grows in here, again, because it freezes out so hard. Um, everything's kind of dead. Even frogs and tadpoles and that type of thing, you don't even see that done here at this time of the year. But again, just getting a little practicing in when we do hopefully start to use the Sherp as it's intended, and that's to go out and rescue people. But I absolutely love going over trees like that in the water because the tree, you start to grab it with the tire and it just pulls you right over it. It's a really cool feel. Let me know if there's anything specific that you want to see on the shirt. I'd be happy to try to capture some of that. Again, I cruised the speed up faster, so hopefully it won't be so boring. This is about four times the normal speed. Again, a Sherp goes about three and a half miles an hour in the water when there's no current. Current definitely has an impact on it. But this is what the shirt is all about. It's going over just a tangled mess, and it does it brilliantly. It also goes on the things fairly well, too. You know, I've had people inside the shirt, oh, you're going to scratch it. My God, the, the material on the outside is almost like armor. I can pretty much go through anything, even like dead oak trees, I can rub against it without really truly scratching it. Is there marks on it? You're damn right there is, and there will always be marks on my shirt anyhow, because if I wanted to sit in the showroom, I wouldn't be on it. Notice those leaves that were on that intake. That can be trouble. You've got to make sure that when you're in areas where there's a lot of leaves like this, if you're going through the woods, if you get that too full of stuff, you can get the shirt to heat up. I've never actually had it heat up before, but it definitely could be a problem. Great example of going over a tree. That is just such a cool feeling when you go over the top, when the front pops up, gets in the middle, and then it catches and it does it again. Again, this is about four times the normal speed. You can see that water nice and white. That means that it is not even coming close to the bottom of that layer. You can see it right here at the end. Excellent example again of going over a tree. See how that wheel just catches right on and almost moves itself here. It's just so cool. Had a lot of first time Sherpers um, this last weekend. Excellent. I don't know if you noticed, but I couldn't get over that uh, log 
anytime a log is higher than that bumper, uh, that pipe that's like off across in the front, you will not get over it unless you get one of the tires to grab it first and then lift you up over the top before it gets on top of that bumper. If I remember correctly on this particular pass, I'm able to do exactly what I just described. The tire grabs and then boom, pops it right over. That is such a great feeling on the inside. Wish I just could describe it. But here's somebody with an iPhone as we're going through the woods. Just kind of like what it looks like. I didn't really say the woods, just branches and splashing and that type of thing. A lot of fun. And then we just had to clear up that path a little bit. If you run over things just perfectly right with the tire, it'll maybe keep it down. But most of the time when you run over things, especially if it's green, if it's not a hardwood, it just pops right back up again. You can't even tell where you're going to go. And we had to make our way back to old Uncle Dickie's ice fishing shack. But we did it the sharp way. We didn't go back there with chainsaws this time. I just drove and made a little bit of a path back there. Then off to our next adventure. Bob had some great big stumps that he pulled out of wherever he happened to pull them out of. And we decided to drive over them with the Sherp. So that stump right there is about five, five and a half feet tall. This is probably the closest that I have ever been to tipping over. <laughs> but first time wasn't enough. We had to do it again. Wasn't quite in the middle at this time. Thought I'd give you one more look at this in slow motion. Appreciate you everybody watching. Please subscribe. Let me know what you think of the video. Have a great day.